Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So all those images of Milky Way and the time lapse that you saw earlier in this video were all taken by me by using my smartphone Poco X3 from my village which is a Bortle Sky 4 location. Yes, during this May 2023 I was at my village during my summer holidays and I was successful in photographing the Milky Way even in presence of moon. Yes, you heard it correct. It is possible to photograph the Milky Way even with your smartphone in presence of moon. Actually, I was looking for such a chance since long back and this month, I mean this year in the May 2023, I got successful to photograph it. So in this video, I am going to discuss in detail that how we can photograph the Milky Way even in presence of moon by using our smartphone. See, this is not possible in light pollution skies because we have much additional light pollution. So the location during which I was photographing is, is a bottle 3 or bottle 4 sky location you can say. It is not perfectly bottle 3 but near about to bottle 3. Okay. So the story is something like this. I was actually uh, looking for a chance to photograph the Milky Way but uh, when I uh, visited my uh, village actually it was 3 to 4 days past the full moon. So I had to wait for some more time. But uh, on 12th of May I decided to photograph the Milky Way and I just woke up, I was half awake uh, during the night because I had this uh, project in my mind to photograph the Milky Way. And when I uh, went to the terrace of my house, I found out that Milky Way is visible but uh, moon is also there. So I thought that uh, let's give it a try to photograph the Milky Way. And I was successful. You can see this image. Uh, this is actually the stacked output of the final, uh, uh, I mean the final stacked output. Okay. So uh, I photographed the JPG as well as raw files and uh, in this video I am going to show that screen recording uh, which I screen recorded of my phone during uh, the time when I was photographing the Milky Way. So you will get to know it in detail. Make sure uh, this is not uh, possible for uh, let's say light polluted skies bottle 5, 6 because in those skies we have additional lights. So if moon is there then uh, you will get a complete bright image or you may not get much good details but the location during which I was photographing the Milky Way was pretty dark and uh, I will show you in the screen recording that how to uh, photograph it. So please watch the whole video and don't skip any point. And also one more thing I would like to say that uh, please bear with the orientation because uh, you know uh, it was I was half awake. so. I just uh, got on the, my terrace and I uh, recorded the screen recording just only for you guys to show it to you as a proof that yes it is possible to photograph the Milky Way with smartphone in presence of moon. So without wasting much time let's begin our today's video. So friends first we need to open the uh, stargazing application. So here I am using Starwalk 2 application to find out the Milky Way. First of all we have to find out the Milky Way in the sky. Okay, so after opening the application, we need to set up a location. So you have to click on this option, uh, the bottom right side option, and then you have to uh, proceed with settings, then location. And you can either choose your current location, that is, it is an automatic option. You can see it in the top right corner, uh, the circle like icon is shown. So when you will click on it, it will automatically detect your location or you can enter your name of city or country in the search bar over here and also if you know the coordinates then you can enter it so there are three modes to set our location because it is very important to set the location to find out the correct uh, uh, let's say the correct position or the correct location of the milky way in the sky so once it is done we have to come back to the uh, original uh, position in the application so after this you can see here that uh, on the top left option uh, top left side we can see a compass like icon shown it is actually the icon which is used to uh, turn the star map you can see here that the star map is shown in the uh, star walk to application and you can move this uh, well, let's say the star map with the help of your fingers by slowing it so you can see here that the milky way is here so now at present I have already aligned my phone in the direction of the Milky Way. Okay, so I will uh, move the star map of the application in the west direction. And as soon as I will click on, on the top left option, you will see that uh, the star map points towards the Milky Way. My phone is actually uh, oriented in the direction only. Okay, so if uh, for example my phone was not oriented, then it might have shown me uh, let's say this west direction 
or any other direction in which my phone is facing so once we have clicked on this uh, top left option that is compass option the the star map will point towards that direction in which our phone is facing okay so if the phone uh, let's say is kept in its direction then we need to move the phone such that the star map points exactly towards the milky way once again i am showing see okay so uh, this is how we have to find out the milky way once milky way is find out we need to proceed with the photographing part you can see here that moon is also there okay it is uh, uh, yes 3.5 m and it is 12th of may today and you can see moon is also there so we need to be very sure for the settings so i am opening the pro mode now in my phone okay okay so this is the pro mode and you can see i have already arranged some previous settings but i will change those okay the iso i will keep uh, let's say around uh, let's say uh, 1250 and shutter speed should be let's say let's set with 15 seconds and make sure if your phone supports raw mode then please use it and then we have to use this timer option so that uh, the image is clear okay and then we have to you focus it and yes uh, one major thing that please keep the focus to be infinite or maximum because the image of the object which we are photographing it is not close to us so we need a very high level of focus okay so this is how we have to done the settings this is a trial and trial and error method if the image is dark then we will increase the settings so you can see here that the uh, camera has started to click the image and it will roughly take about 15 seconds to photograph it please make sure the lens is in the wide mode don't use ultra wide option because in that mode the shutter speed and the iso value gets changed as compared to the real value okay see the image is dark let me increase the brightness the image is dark so i will increase the shutter speed so this is how we have to do it by using the trial and error method so now i have kept the shutter speed to be 20 seconds so let's see how the image comes the moon is also there but still we are getting a good image the reason is that i am currently at my village and this place is uh, bottle 3 or bottle 4 you can say not uh, exactly bottle 3 okay yes you can see here that uh, in the left side we have some noise but yes milky way is getting captured and it is a very good sight so i will now click the multiple images you can Uh, let me show you the time burst mode this is how the time burst mode is there my phone is poco x3 and in some of the mi phones and uh, poco phones this mode is available so i need to just arrange the number of photos which i wanted to click and the interval between two photos without exposure okay i roughly keep it about 2 seconds because the processing of the image not does not takes more than 2 seconds to save in the gallery okay so this is it so this was about photographing the milky way in the live okay so i hope that you have enjoyed this video then please like and share this and if you find it helpful then please subscribe to my channel for more such updates thank you for watching it so i hope that you are now clear regarding photographing the milky way even in presence of moon but under dark skies okay so if you want to know more in detail that uh, how to strike the milky way what are the dark skies i mean what is bottle scale how we can find out the bottle scale or how to find out the dark skies what are the best pro mode settings to photograph the milky way in dark skies or let's say light pole plus skies so i have already made a detailed series on photographing the milky way with the help of smartphone so you can see over here uh, the link to that series is given in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it so please watch that series and i hope that after watching it you will get complete information regarding photographing the milky way with smartphone because much less time is there for photographing the core of the milky way so if skies are clear and if you are able to find out or if you are able to go on a dark skies then you definitely should give a try photographing the milky way because it is very uh, good and uh, beautiful to see the core of the milky way with the smartphone so i hope that you will watch that and if you still have any doubt then comment in the comment section below or contact me on my instagram id both of them are my i mean my instagram id is given in the description below
okay so thank you for watching